Hi guys, welcome back to a new episode. Today I'm out here by myself fishing for some big perch. Uh, but before all that, as you can see, this is the first video where I'll be speaking uh, only English. The plan is to speak English during the videos where I film by myself. And then during the videos where I fish with my friends, I'll be speaking Swedish, but I'll be adding uh, English subtitles. Just so you know, uh, the plan is to reach a larger audience uh, let's see if this works out. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll go back to speaking Swedish. But hopefully it works out. So today, we're out here fishing for some big perch. We have a couple of spots we're going to try out. I'm going to spend about an hour here. Uh, the sun just rose. Uh, it will be a beautiful day or a beautiful morning at least. Let's go. Okay, we'll start off with a smaller rod. It's a medium heavy rod. Casting weight up to 35 grams or one and a quarter ounces. I think I should start off with hmm. We'll start off with this one. Uh, I don't know if you can see that well. It's a blade bait, green color. Now blade baits, even though they may, might not look as, uh, like much, they give off crazy vibrations in the water. It's a great way to search for fish. Just to see if you have any fish around, you know? Or if they're active. Now if they're not active, you won't get a strike on this one, because it's a bit aggressive. <coughs> However, if they are active, you can have some you can have some great fishing. You can fish this bait in a number of different ways. Uh, you can let it sink. You can just reel it in. There's many different ways. I like to reel it in quite slow uh, and then do a few spinning stops or real stops I don't know what you want to call them in English uh, okay I think my bait hooked itself it felt weird when I was reeling it in yeah there we go. Okay, let's try one more time. As you can see, it's a glaring sun today. Uh, still quite cold though. However, I think the water temperature is quite high or quite warm. Therefore, I won't be fishing for pike today. Because I know pike take, can take uh, damage if you, if you fish them when it's too hot outside or in the air. I think I heard a splash. Okay. Nothing. Uh, during these types of conditions, Glaring sun, almost no wind, very still water. Uh, I, I highly recommend a, a, po a set of polarized sunglasses. <coughs> it gives you a lot, of a lot better visibility. Also, when you reel in your bait, look at it. Maybe you have a follower, maybe four or five meters behind. Uh, that'll give you an indication on what type of bait to use. Now, if you don't have a set of polarized sunglasses, it's not the entire end of the world, but they're not that expensive. Two, three hundred crowns. So, for instance, I can see a lot further in the water, and I saw I had no followers on this bait, which makes me a bit worried. Uh, 
another tip I have for you young fishermen or fishermen just starting out is before you go out and fish try and gather as much information as you can uh, about the place you're going to fish so in my case for instance <coughs> I looked up okay this lake does it require a, a fishing license and it does which you have to pay for it's not expensive but it does uh, what type of species does it hold this lake and also right now where I'm fishing how deep is it it's quite deep actually I think it's out here in the in the channel of the lake or in the middle of the lake I think it's it goes down to 15 meters now, I won't be fishing 15 meters because Uh, if you fish at 15 meters, the fish can get pressure sick, pressure sickness. So I won't be fishing that far down, maybe five, six, seven meters down, maybe. But the perch should not be that deep. This is the last cast with this bait and then we'll switch. But for those of you that don't know, during the warmer one months of the year, perch tend to be more active and pike tends to be less active. Um, also, during the warmer months of the year, the perch tend to come up more uh, in, into shallower water and the pike tend to go deeper actually. Or at least, okay, we'll do another cast with this one, straight into the sun. <coughs> so as I was saying, pike might uh, go into the deeper water during the warmer months of the year because they don't like the heat. Uh, or you'll find pike in places where there's a lot of shade and cooler water, maybe uh, where there's a uh, great influx of water maybe a stream or something there, you might find some pike and yeah, you might find them in the in the grass belts, but I wouldn't recommend anyone to fish for pike when it's warm outside uh, it might hurt the fish and we don't want to do that this is sports fishing now if you're gonna eat pike then maybe that's another story, right? okay, so we're switching baits Okay, so we just fished with a vibration bait, a blade bait. Now I'll try something else. This is still a search bait because I haven't found any fish yet. Uh, this is a spin tail. This particular one is from Berkeley. It's called a spin tail pulse, I think. Uh, I've had great success with this bait, as you can see, it's all mangled up. Um, I'll try it. This bait works differently from the blade bait. Uh, it still gives off vibrations because the tail, the spoons at the end vibrate. However, they also give, away, uh, give out some flash. <coughs> so when the sun hits the rotating spoons, they flash quite nice. Also, this bait goes or swims a bit deeper. Still a search bait though. Let's see if we can find any fish. And this bait, I tend to just reel it in slowly. Now I've caught perch with this bait, I've caught pike with this bait, and I also caught, I don't know what it's called in in English, but in Swedish it's called an eed. I've caught an eed with this bait. Uh, okay. No followers, nothing. Another tip I'd like to give, uh, 
is when you fish like this from shore uh, don't do what I do I bring too many baits too much equipment uh, and it's heavy it, it, it can make me more stationary so I tend to just pick a spot and just fish that spot during the day however in Swedish we call this Pannbens fiske however it's not the best way to find fish from shore the best way to find fish from shore is pick out maybe 10-15 baits bring as little equipment as possible and move around so fish a, fish a spot hour maybe hour and a half sometimes not even sometimes 20 minutes 30 minutes and then relocate pick another spot <clears throat> so when you fish from shore uh, try and be as mobile as possible now I never do this however if you want to get if you want to catch a lot of fish this is what you should do Wow, it's deep out here. So to be even more specific, maybe you bring three or four search baits. And that might be a blade bait, a, a spin tail, some type of chatter bait, with or without a skirt, doesn't matter. Um, and then you might bring some, uh, some soft plastics. And then you might uh, bring a crankbait or two. And that's it. You don't need that much to fish for some perch. We'll do about five or six more casts here and then and then we'll actually change uh, location because I see nothing and what I mean by that is I see no fish up on the surface I see no activity under the water as deep as I can see or as far as I can see there's nothing to indicate that there are fish here right now Now the thing is, fishing from shore, and I don't have a, you don't have some type of what's it called in English? In Swedish is called ekolod. Well, you can't find any fish using the fish finder. Um, I mean, you can if you buy a deeper and throw it out and reel it in, and but I don't have that one. I don't have that technology yet, so. Uh, that's one of the many perks of, from, uh, of fishing from a boat is if you have a fish finder you can locate fish or structure under the water or maybe a school of bait fish uh, fish that so you have something to throw at now when you fish from shore you don't have that option most of the times so you have to fish many different spots so that goes into what i said earlier about staying mobile hmm i don't like this don't like this at all Oh, there I had a strike. Okay. I actually have a school of perch. I don't know if you can see them. There's maybe three or four. 250 gram perch. One actually struck my, my lure. Okay. And last cast as well. Now, since I had contact there on that throw, or in that cast, I'll spend a few more 
<clears throat> I spend a little bit more time here. We found fish. Not the biggest, but we found a school of perch. Keep throwing this bait, a couple more casts, see if we can get them to strike again. Uh, if not, we'll switch to a soft plastic. I might actually throw a shadow bait. We follow again? No, they won't. So this is the entire purpose of these types of baits. Uh, okay, not the entire purpose. I mean, you can actually catch. On the spin tail, I've seen people catch like 10 kilogram pike. However, in my opinion, the, the purpose of these baits are to search for fish. Uh, since the baits are quite small, they give off a lot of flash or a lot of vibration in the water. Um, might attract a few fish. It's the goal anyway. And then you switch to something else to catch the big ones. That's my opinion. Okay, now I went into grass. Interesting. Okay, there's a small perch. <laughs> two, two actually. These are very small. These are sm the smaller ones. These are actually way smaller than the, uh, the two that I had, the two followers I had previously. Okay. Last cast with this bait. We found two larger perch. Or, yeah, decent sized. Then two very small. I'm going to throw a chatter bait. See if, one, if I can get a bigger perch to strike. Um, Five, maybe ten casts with the with the chatterbait, and then we'll we'll move. Change my mind. I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to throw. I'm actually going to throw crankbaits. This one from Steen. Uh, a bass bite, square bill. I think it's 17 grams, seven centimeters, something like that. Uh, slow float, or floating at least. Here's the lure. The color is official roach. My favorite Vistine color. By far, actually. <coughs> Now the crankbaits also give off vibration in the water. However, since they float, we can make a lot longer reel stops. Which means you can take your time reeling the bait in. Might trigger some inactive fish to strike. Also, they look like a fish, uh, these, these types of baits, uh, and they might give the impression that they are a, a hurt fish. So you might trigger a strike just because of that as well. No, I had no follower there. I had a perch follow it. They just follow the bait. Follow and poke at it. They don't really strike the bait. Now, I don't know if it's too early in the day. Is it too late? Is it too hot? Am I presenting the bait in the wrong way? I don't know.
And there's a crazy amount of bait fish here. This entire area is filled with bait fish. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but... This is not the spot I had in mind. However, when you see bait fish, schools of bait fish, oh, okay, a lot of grass here. And yeah, when you see schools of bait fish like this, always throw a bait in them. Okay, now I see a big perch. Saw my bait. I'll actually do this. Also, when you see schools of bait fish like this, I always recommend to do what they say in the states to match the hatch. Uh, that means just try and try and match your lure with the color of the bait fish. Yeah, they're on the other side as well. No. What type of fish is this? Now if I threw a spin tail here, I guarantee I'd get a bite. There we go. This is a pike. Yes, this is a pike. Has to be a pike. If it's Yeah, it's a pike. If it's not a pike, it's a huge perch. However, I'm quite certain it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. It's decent. Now, like I said previously, since it's hot outside, also hot in the water, I'm not fishing for pike. However, when you fish for perch, sometimes this is what happens. So that's one hook. One of the trebles out. There we go. So, uh oh, oh, happened now. Go. Here's a small little pike. Can like you see him? Beautiful fish. Uh, now we'll release him. There we go. Now I do not know if that proved my point. When you see a school of bait fish, always throw in the school. Sometimes match the hatch, but sometimes doesn't matter. Uh, caught a pike. Didn't weigh it. Didn't take a picture of it. There's no need. It wasn't a personal best. I see some people here take pictures with all the fish. I mean, you can uh, if you're quick with it. Like if you're two, one nets the fish and one takes out the, the treble hooks and then you just take a quick picture and release it, you can. <laughs> and I do that as well sometimes. However, when you're fishing by yourself, net the fish, 
so that you land it, remove the hooks with, with, uh, with the fish still in the net in the water. And then you can let the fish rest a bit in the net, maybe a minute max, and then you release it. Uh, this is sport fishing. We're not fishing to, to provide for our families. We're fishing because it's fun, because it's our hobby. Uh, so take care of the water, take care of the fish. Now, let's move on to the next spot. I don't know if... Welcome back, guys. We just switched spot. I don't know if you can see that dude over there. But he's living my dream. Fishing from a kayak. Yeah, I wish I could afford one. I can afford one, probably. However, I have no place to store it. Which makes me quite sad. But... You know, make the best out of the situation and fish as much as we can. Okay, we're in a different spot. I can see right away. We have a lot of grass here. So we have to be careful. Especially when we keep throwing this crankbait to not get stuck. Because I'm not in the mood to take a swim this early in the morning. Okay, we'll do one more cast with this one. Just for my curiosity. My curiosity. I'll throw it in the direction of the sun. Downwind. See if I can entice something to strike this lure. Like I said, <coughs> this is a small one. Um, there you go. Uh, small little perch, super cool. Uh, let him go back. Bye, little guy. Now, the reason I threw, <clears throat> like I just told you, the reason I took a cast in the direction of the sun is I'm standing on a rock, right? And I can see all around me there's a bunch of rocks. Now, quick tip if you fish from shore, and you're standing on rocks. Underwater, there's probably a bunch of rocks. And I know that perch like to hunt by standing in the shady side behind a rock in the direction of the sun. So, if the sun is, if the sun is uh, shining in this direction, in this direction in, the fr in front, and you know there's a bunch of rocks, you can throw in that direction and you can almost bet that there's fish standing on this side like on the shady side of the of the rocks now it doesn't mean they'll strike always but have a plan when you cast fish fish on Oh, it's a nice perch. No, 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 no. Ah. Got him! Here we go, guys. Nice little perch. Now we'll release this little fella.
Nice. We got him on the... So crazy, man. We switched back to the spin tail. The same one that we got our fir the first perch of the day on. The first small perch of the day on. We switched back to that one. Now I don't know how many casts I took. Maybe two, maybe three. And there it was. Same spot as well. Or same direction at least. Like I said. <coughs> if you know there's rocks. Throw and try to catch them in the shade. Okay guys. That was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To summarize the day. I caught a small pike early in the morning, about 6.30 a.m. And then a little bit later, when we switched location, I caught a small perch on the spin tail. And then a couple of hours later, I caught a bigger perch on the same spin tail. The wind picked up now, and that's why I'm ending this video. It's super hard to throw in this wind. I think it's blowing 10 meters a second. I'll be back here next week. I'm going to try different stuff. I might fish... No, I'm, I was thinking about fishing, fishing some pike, but it's still too warm, I think. We'll wait until the fall, maybe September, October. We'll start fishing for some pike as well with our bigger rod. But before we close out this video, I would greatly appreciate if you would press that subscribe button as well as like the video. Uh, if you have any questions or just want to say what's up, please write in the comment section down below. Take care. Until next time.